St. Paul has a proud history of industry, but factories, mills, commercial buildings, and even your neighborhood gas station or dry cleaner don't last forever. When they're shuttered or closed down, they often leave behind a brownfield. A brownfield refers to land that has been contaminated by a hazardous substance or pollutant. Many sites became brownfields because early environmental regulations were different than they are today. It takes a lot of work to clean up a brownfield and find a new use that that community can be proud of. The city of St. Paul is committed to giving brownfields new life. In a built city like the city of St. Paul, uh, the real opportunity lies in brownfields. St. Paul has recently experienced a surge of redevelopment projects that have increased the livability and vibrancy of our community. Projects like the Upper Landing, West Side Flats, and the former Schmidt Brewery have and will continue to add new residential units in our city to meet the increasing demand. Baldinger Bakery and the Mississippi Market have added places for new jobs, and CHS Field and Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary have provided new entertainment and recreation options for residents and visitors alike. These sites have another thing in common. Each was developed on a former brownfield. Cities that consider brownfield redevelopment can see a, a rejuvenation of their community. They can see benefits in revitalizing old, underutilized spaces, for example, bringing new businesses to that area, and they've seen across the Twin Cities, for example, and all across Minnesota, significant increases in their tax base. The redevelopment of these properties requires careful cleanup efforts guided by local governments, state and federal agencies, nonprofit advocates, and St. Paul's citizens. Brownfield redevelopments typically start at the city level, but the work requires close coordination among a variety of partners. Once a property owner decides they want to develop an existing brownfield, they work with the City of St. Paul to ensure the redevelopment plans match the city's long-range plans. The city also helps facilitate the cleanup process. The property owner also works with state and federal environmental organizations to conduct environmental site assessments to identify contaminants and evaluate environmental risks. These tests often include a review of records, site inspection, interviews, and taking soil and water samples. Once contaminants are confirmed, the cleanup can take place with the help of Minnesota Pollution Control Agency and other agencies. The state agency monitors environmental quality and enforces regulations. The agency oversees the cleanup of brownfields to ensure regulations are being met. Brownfield redevelopment is exciting work for our agency because we know that we're making a direct impact on communities and we're protecting people's health and stabilizing environmental quality. Grants from the Environmental Protection Agency, Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development, Metropolitan Council, and Ramsey County help offset the cost of contaminated land cleanup and reuse. The St. Paul Port Authority is a recognized leader in brownfield reclamation and often works closely with the City of St. Paul to turn contaminated properties into redevelopment opportunities. Minnesota Brownfields is a nonprofit partner that provides education and research in the brownfield redevelopment field. Anytime you can take a property that is environmentally degraded or blighted or abandoned and to be able to transform it into anything from a nature sanctuary to housing on a transit line to um, the opportunity to create jobs, it helps improve the, the neighborhood and the community as a whole. As the city grows, there will be many more opportunities for St. Paul to continue to revitalize underused, contaminated land. Right now, the Ford site along the Mississippi River is being cleaned up to a level that supports a mix of uses on the site. The former home of Ford's Twin Cities Assembly Plant is planned to become a connected, livable, mixed-use neighborhood woven into the existing community. A former industrial site along the Mississippi River near the West Side Flats in St. Paul is being transformed into a beautiful greenway that will also serve as a stormwater management system. And the brownfield along I-94 will soon become home to Allianz Field, a state-of-the-art soccer stadium for Minnesota United FC. Projects and opportunities like these will help existing brownfields become neighborhoods, businesses, green space, and landmarks that create a more dynamic community. Making investments in a way that the existing community can benefit and new communities that are coming in can be a part of that investment for um, years to come. If we are being creative about how we make that investment and making sure that we are um, connecting to be it housing or business opportunities, we can really change the face of communities um, in St. Paul and throughout the state of Minnesota.